Uh, Jonathan, uh, you know, when you look so left, nice, uh, by the way. Thank I like you your very much. Um, I just for you. I feel uh, like I underdressed. <laughs> well, I always overdress because I, you know, you know, people know you. You know, and you're supposed to be here. I, I'm supposed to, to just like wear a sweater, yeah. like it's nothing. Yeah. Play it off. You okay. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, when we last left your character in season one, he, yeah. you know, he had grown in such confidence, you know, uh, investigating these killers and manipulating them, and we found him sort of get to his breaking point. Um, I know you can't reveal any specifics, of course, but uh, you know, as you worked on season two, what have you thought about uh, Holden as as, uh, as you developed him uh, going forward? It's been really fun because. I do think that one of the things that we realize when we interview the serial killers is that they're all gigantic narcissists. And I think it's really interesting how spending so much time with those narcissists in those rooms, there's sort of a mirroring of narcissism, right? And we, at the end of the season, Holden is really kind of feeling himself. And I think in those last, whatever it is, three minutes, he gets sort of shocked back into reality when Ed Kemper hugs him and he sort of hits rock bottom. And so, without giving anything away about season two, um, we pick up where that left off. And I don't know what to say without giving anything away, except that the fun of doing a second season for all of us, I think for the writers and for David and for the actors, is that we've set up so much. And so there's so much subtext and there's so many dynamics. Even like my favorite part of the first season was between Wendy and Bill and Holden and that kind of thing of who created what and who gets credit for what and who really is the, the head of this organization and who's driving this. All of those dynamics are set up. The FBI has started to support the behavioral science unit and as opposed to just this weird thing that we're doing in the basement. And so the second season picks up where that kind of left off and it's been a fun experience mining that because there's so many there's so many things to play with now that we have all that set up. And is there a greater sense of, you know, confidence or comfort or ease now that, you know, it's it's such a dark material but you've already been you know, a season of it, you've gotten to know this character and the set and No, it's David stars. Fincher, there's never ease. That's like the <laughs> ease is the opposite word. Well, the they, ease ease maybe on the 59th take or <laughs> No. That's and that's I mean to his to David's credit, he doesn't phone it in. And this is the this is the first time he's ever come back to a second season. You know, with House of Cards, he did the first two episodes in the first season, and then he sort of took a provisorial position and watched it happen from afar. But this is the first time he's ever come back and directed the second season of a show. He's always done films. And so it's been inspirational to watch him come back like it's a brand new project. And there's nothing taken for granted. Everything that we thought we knew, we don't know. Uh, it feels... Different. It feels familiar, obviously, like you said, because it is the same characters, but the terrain is very different and the, the scope of, this, of the second season is very different. And so that's been really, it's been really inspiring because you hear, and I've had the experience of coming back over multiple seasons and you kind of feel like you're playing the same buttons, like the greatest hits of, the, thing you, the things you found before. But this is really um, an evolution and a changing. And when David and I first had when he first called me in and we had the meeting about the show, they had a sort of arc of an idea of where it wanted to go, and it's even changed from that, from that initial meeting. So they're constantly having new ideas and trying to find the truest version. Even, you know, the, a couple days before, we're still rewriting the scene to make it better. There's, there's nothing about it that feels muscle memory. Uh, well, congratulations and, and best of luck in season two and Thank hopefully you. season three. Hopefully it never gets too comfortable, yeah. but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's always as tense. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good stuff.